My name is Maria Hodges, and I was diagnosed with emphysema 15 years ago. And I became a hospice patient three months ago. Actually, for the first 14 years, I did real well. But then I noticed the last year, starting January of this year, I started losing weight, just really big time dropping weight without meaning to. And my lung capacity test had dropped to 28%. So I knew I was in real trouble. So one day I went over to hospice home and went in and asked how you signed up for hospice. I knew I could not handle death alone. I did not know they made house calls at first. I'd always gone to the doctor's offices, so I was astounded to find out that they come to your house. So the fact that they come out to the home to treat me not only saved my life, but also it enables them to stay on top of my symptoms if they're getting out of control. It seems like at first that it's overwhelming so many people coming, but it's not. It's very comfortable. It makes me feel very safe and like, okay, nothing's going to happen to me that they're not going to catch right away. That hospice touch is what I call it. It just makes me feel so safe and so cared about. I have these people that I have formed an attachment with who are going to walk through the valley of the shadow of death with me. So I'm not afraid of dying anymore. I was terrified of dying. So, but with all the love I've gotten from hospice, I'm not afraid at all. In fact, dying's been more fun than living. <laughs> it's just such a thing. Two months ago, I thought I was going to die within two weeks. I really did. Now, today, I went to see my counselor, went to get a haircut, went grocery shopping. Now I feel like I'm going to live forever. I hate to tell you. <laughs> but I think I'm here for good. <laughs> At least that's how I feel right now. I would rather have lived two years with, under the care of hospice than to live 10 years without them. Because see, hospice sees me as being more than just my disease. They see all of me, past and present. That's what's making it so comprehensive is that every aspect of my being. See, people think hospice, they think physical. You're physically ill, you're gonna die. They don't think about the spiritual, the emotional, and the mental health of the patient. They just zero in, Dr. Zero in on just my emphysema. Well, hospice does, and hospice sees me as more than just being a disease and treats every bit of it. It's total. They see the all of me is what I call it. I would tell them to look into hospice because it's been the most rewarding experience of my life. Death, to me, is, is the biggest challenge I'll ever face. And to have people that are so warm and loving and sincere and kind walking that path with me, that's the way I feel about hospice. They're with me every step of the way.